Mom Lisa, and today is Friday, December 16th. Yeah, that means that we go grocery shopping right after work. Well, I didn't go grocery shopping today because I am on vacation until December 26th. So I've got all next week to do some grocery shopping. <laughs> and we need to go to Sam's Club, which I am totally dreading. I can just imagine what it's going to be like. You know, the crowds are going to be crazy. Plus, we are due for some really bad weather this weekend. Saturday, we're supposed to get some snow. Tonight, we're supposed to get some freezing drizzle. Uh, and then Sunday, even though it's going to be nice and sunny and the road crews will probably have already gotten out and cleared the roads, it's only supposed to get a high of 13 degrees. So I don't know. Uh, I may be going to Sam's Club on Monday all by myself because um, Scott has to work on Monday and Twyla has two more days of school. She'll have to go to school on Monday. So I might be doing that all by myself, yeah. But, long story short, I did go to the Dollar Tree today because I wanted to pick up some things to help complete my Christmas shopping. I'm not done. I still have one more thing to get for Scott and a gift card to get for one of my granddaughters and a stocking stuffer for one of my uh, grandsons. But, other than that, I am done. Yes, I am. And what I'm going to do is, one day while I'm on vacation, I think I am going to go do a little bit of shopping um, for uh, Scott. I only got one thing to get him, but I want to shop around and try to find him something I think he'll like. But anyway, let's get into this Dollar Tree. Um, a couple of years ago, we, I started doing this for my kids and my grandchildren. Um, they usually end up with four or five gifts from me, my grandchildren do, plus whatever Santa brings them in their stockings. Um, so they always needed a grocery sack or something to carry it all in. Well, I happen to have a huge supply a couple of years ago of Christmas gift bags of the big ones and I didn't use them all so I gave each one of my grandchildren a big gift bag to put all their presents in to take home and then um, now my boys I don't get them a whole lot a couple of little things under the tree and you know same with my daughter-in-laws but I, I gave them each a gift bag so yeah, this year we're going to do the same thing. So, I picked up one, two, three, four, four of the large ones because uh, four of the little ones have some kind of tall gifts that we're giving them. So, I got this one with the, oh, what is it? snowman and the penguins so we got this one and each one gets a different design let me place that there and then i got this one uh oh they're getting all tangled uh this one with all the different snowmen on it and then we have this one with santa and then i picked up this one with santa and the reindeer so that's primarily for the three boys and one of our granddaughters. And then for two of our granddaughters, they don't really have anything tall. Um, so I just got them one of the long ones. I got one in Frosty. And, uh-oh, I got tangled up here. Goodness, they are all tangled, I tell you. All tangled. There we go. And one in Santa. Then, for my sons and their wives, I just bought them the same um, rectangle-shaped ones, except they can share this year because most of their gifts are smaller gifts. I got some books for them. Um, 
oh, just small things. So they can, you know, their hus the husband and wives can share. So this is for one of my sons. And this is for the other son. Oops, you guys want to see that. Aren't these cute? And then this one is for my daughter-in-law to put all her goodies in. So yeah, it's the it's a perfect thing um, so that they can contain all of their gifts. And if the kids want to go ahead and open one of the boxes, all the little pieces and stuff can go straight into here and won't get lost in the car and things like that. It's just perfect. And all mom and dad have to do is just put the whole bag in the trunk of the car on their way home. It's just very, very convenient for them. I am all about the convenience. Yes, I am. Now, this isn't in any particular order. I'm just grabbing out of the bags. We are gonna have, since everyone's getting together, um, on Christmas Eve, we're gonna. I'm gonna make a couple of crock pots full of chili um, with crackers and cheese and Fritos to go with it. So I just picked up some of the styrofoam bowls. These are the larger ones. Let's see if you guys can. There are 15 count and they hold 20 ounce. So I just picked up two packages of these. Um, we are going to have spaghetti tonight. I had no garlic toast, so I picked up some garlic toast. And this is good garlic toast in only a dollar. Can't beat that. Then I picked up, I'm also going to make up little bowls of like um, Chex Mix and Party Mix and things like that just to lay out on the table for somebody just wants a little munchy you know, walking, passing by or whatever, they grab a handful of it. So I picked up one of these party mixes at the Dollar Tree and they can be the guinea pig and tell me how they are. <laughs> uh, let's see, I picked up as kind of a gag gift to my daughter because she drives now, but she has no ice scraper and she has not thought to go and get herself one and I didn't think about it either. One moment, please. Uh, hot coffee. Um, but I saw these at the Dollar Tree and it will not last her but one season, I'm sure, because you know, it's, yeah. <laughs> but it ha does have a brush so that she can brush off her headlights and um, her tail lights and uh, it's got the, the ice scraper on it so yeah I'm just gonna stick that under the tree and so there you go <laughs> then for my um, grandchildren instead of a stocking this year I'm going to make them up boxes from Santa I bought a lot of the decorated Christmas boxes last year on clearance and instead of putting all those wormies in it or tissue paper, I bought some of the glittered draped snow to kind of line the inside of the boxes. And I might build one and show you guys, you know, this week while I'm on vacation. That might be our craft, our craft thing. Yeah. <laughs> My dog, yeah, he's behind me. Um, but he's just walking back and forth. He don't know what he wants. <laughs> uh, <coughs> now we will have some desserts on um, Christmas Eve with the chili. So I picked up two packages of um, just paper plates for desserts and they come in an 18 and they're the red snowflake ones. They are very cute. Uh, let's see. I have a couple of little small things to give Twyla, and I have plenty of gift bags from last year's Clarence Hauls, but these are so cute. They look like little purses. Yeah, look at that. It looks like a little purse. Isn't that cute? And then this one looks like a little purse too. Isn't that cute? I just, I just thought these were so cute. So I had to pick those up to put her couple of little things in. 
And then we have a giveaway coming up in a few short weeks. And I saw these up by the register and I haven't, I have seen these and I have picked these up before, um, but I went ahead and picked up one for the giveaway and it's just the coloring notepad and I believe all the sheets are the same design, but I thought those were cute. But these are new to my store. I don't know if anyone else has hauled them, but they are the coloring sticky notes. Yes, and we all love our sticky notes. So I got a package of these for the give giveaway. I needed some more tissue paper. I went through all my tissue paper packing up um, packages to mail out and everything. So I picked up another one. And I like the rainbow colors because you can use any of these colors really for Christmas. Maybe not yellow, but with the appropriate ribbon, any of these colors would do well for Christmas. Um, any of the colors would look great for Valentine's Day too, and Easter. So I just pick up the um, rainbow colored ones. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? I needed some pens for work. Those, I don't know, someone has sticky fingers at work because I took a bunch of, oh, odd and end pens that we had around the house because I never could find an ink pen. And if I use my own personal ink pen on this new line that I'm working, it will always disappear. Always. My partner walks off with it or someone from another shift will pick it up to use it and not put it back down. So I picked up a package of these just the cheapy ballpoint pens that probably won't work very well at all. But, yeah, if they walk away, they, that's fine. Then I found these little treat bags. The zipper, um, zipper seal bags. And you get 40 in a package. And um, these would be great for friend mail gifts or candies that you want to you know put in the kids stockings or whatever so I picked these up now I am already thinking about Valentine's Day and I made a Christmas wreath and it was the first wreath I'd ever made and I really liked how it turned out so I think I'm gonna do something similar for Valentine's Day so I went ahead and picked up another box of these little lights just in case they don't have them around Valentine's Day. So I picked up one more box of these for a Valentine wreath. I think I'm going to make one. Yeah, I do. Um, oh, and this is for the giveaway also to kind of go with the coloring pads. These are called colored mechanical pencils. The lead is colored and I guess... Well, they're made by Greenbrier, but the name of them is Bright. I don't know if anyone's ever tried these or not. Um, they're new to my Dollar Tree, so I thought that would be nice to put with those coloring pads. So that's what I got them for. And now, last but not least, oh no, sorry, got some more glue. I like this glue. I've been picking up a bottle nearly every week because I'm afraid when I need it, they won't have it. Oh, and I also picked up some AAA batteries. I used the last of my AAAs in a Christmas decoration, so I picked up a package of those. Okay, now, 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 the fabulous thing I found. Um, my Dollar Tree has not had a new selection of duct tapes in a long time. So I went in there and I wanted duct tape, just a plain basic duct tape, because I have a project I want to use this for in my craft room. But while I was in there getting my basic blue duct tape, I found new ones. Yes, I did. I was so happy 
Now, I'm sure people have hauled these, but I have not seen them, and my Dollar Tree has not had them. So here we go. I got this purple plaid. I think that's plaid. What is that? That's not really plaid. It's a diamond, a diamond shape, and it's purple and black. Isn't that neat? I just love that. And look at this. The brick in the red. Kind of looks like the a Christmas type theme, doesn't it? And then I had never seen these. It's the paint splatter or the paint drips. At any rate, I liked it. I got it. And they had the candy. They had the roll of candy. Now, I almost picked up two of these, but they only had two left. And I almost went in and picked up both of them. And then I thought, no, no, you do not need both of them. One is enough. So I picked up the one roll of candy duct tape. Oh, I was so happy, so happy when I saw it. I just, if I can't find the washi, yes, at least maybe I can find duct tape. <laughs> I'm going to get another sip here. Now, in my little town, they have opened a new store, and it's Tractor Supply Company. A lot of you may know what it is. It's um, kind of like a farm and home type store. They carry a lot of um, horses, cattle, dog, cat supplies, um, farming equipment, you know, things you need. Not big like tractors or anything like that, but um, it's kind of a farming hardware store. You can buy clothes there. You can buy boots. Uh, you can buy just anything related to farm and home yeah with a country type theme for your home <laughs> but this week they were having a sale on their space heaters for 25 percent off now i'd never been in there before today and i thought you know i'm good i bet they're more expensive than getting one at walmart they've got to be the ones at walmart the ones that um, I have seen, because I've been looking for one to put in my bathroom, because when I get out of the shower, I'm chilly. I want my bathroom toasty warm when I get out of the shower. Even with the heat on, it's, you know, it's chilly. So I wanted a space heater for my bathroom. And I checked at Walmart and stuff, and the ones that I saw, just a basic box one, they are about $22, $23, you know. I, but they were having a 25% um, off sale at the tractor supply company. So I stopped in there and I found this one right here. It's just a basic turn me on, low, high heater, space heater, just made for things like what I want it for. You know, you, you are in the bathroom, getting ready for work, you get out of the shower, and it's cold. <laughs> but with a, a space heater, you know, you can just turn it on, and when you get out of the shower, your bathroom's nice and toasty. Now, my bathrooms, fortunately, are big enough that this can be plugged in and is nowhere near the bathtub. Um... Now, it is plugged in near the sink, but it's nowhere near the bathtub or anything like that. So, don't get worried that, you know, someone's going to get electrocuted because my bathrooms are big enough that it isn't anywhere near the bathtubs. Let me put this down. But, um, yeah, it's, I only paid $16.99 for it and I was very, very happy with it and... I'm looking forward to a nice toasty shower this evening. Yes, I am. So, um, yeah, that is it, guys. That is my Friday morning haul from Dollar Tree and Tractor Supply Company. Um, and like I said, I'm not going to go grocery shopping. But when I do, which will probably be on Monday, I will do a haul um, just to show you what I found yeah <laughs>
So I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. You guys stay really warm. It is so cold here in Missouri. Oh, my gosh. It, oh, we're freezing our toes off. Yes, we are. We are cold. Now, yes, we do get this cold a few times during the winter. We will get down to the teens and the negatives and stuff, but it's usually not until January, January and February. December is usually pretty mild. It's usually, oh, 20s, high 20s, you know, low 30s. It's not typically this cold this fast. I remember three weeks ago, it we hit a couple of days that were in the 70s, three, four weeks ago. Yeah, right around Thanksgiving. So it is a real shocker. <laughs> yeah. They did not give us time to adjust. No, they did not. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I will talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up, and leave me a comment. I love to hear from each and every one of you. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.